What's up everybody, my name is Guillaume and welcome to this new episode of Hit The Tone. I hope you're doing fantastic today and welcome to this new episode of Hit The Tone on Thomas Guitars and Basses. Now, if you're not familiar with the format, I'll put the whole playlist in the description box down below, but I'm taking bits of famous songs and try to give you all the tools you need to hit the tone. So please don't forget to go down in the comments and let me know which song you'd like me to cover next and I'll get to it as soon as I can. And while you're down there, if you can like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on this one, please do so, that would be Incredible, thank you so much in advance. And with this out of the way, let's start with today's song, which is Wet Sand by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. And we're on to our third installment of the Red Hot Chili Peppers on Hit The Tone and Master John Frusciante. If you guys wanna check out the other two episodes, um, they'll be linked in the description box down below, obviously, because uh, this one is gonna differ quite a lot. Uh, from these, no spoilers yet, we'll get to, to that in a second. But I'm gonna start with the guitar for today, which obviously is gonna be my Fender Stratocaster. It's John Frusciante, so I think I'm on the safe side if I say that 90% of the time it's gonna be a Stratocaster. That being said, for that particular intro, we're gonna be in the neck position, so I assume that any guitar that you have with a single coil neck pickup is going to work. For that intro, I'll link a bunch of recommendations in the description as well. But that's gonna be my guitar for the day in the neck position, and we're now gonna talk about our amp and pedal setup. And this is where the big difference lies with the other episodes that I've done. I was always using a Fender amp and pedals to get close to his sound because he's using a Marshall Major and a Marshall Silver Jubilee. And that is a lot of wattage. And that is a very, very specific grit that is hard to reproduce with just an amp at low volume. That being said, wet sand does work a little bit differently. So I'm not gonna use any pedal for today. You heard me, zero, no pedal. I'm scared, but no pedals straight into the amp and the amp is that Marshall MK2 Studio. It's a mini plexi. Now you wanna be really careful by using that kind of an amp because it's got a lot less headroom than a major obviously and even a silver jubilee on the clean side of things. So you wanna get that Marshall punch, right? Cause that is a Marshall sound. John Fruchante sound, it is. It's a martial sound. But you cannot crank this amp anywhere near as loud as you would have it with his because of you know, limited headroom, so it's gonna get grittier and gainier a lot faster. So very conservative on the EQ, very conservative on the master. Super dry sound, I'm not used to that. But that guitar into that amp sounds like this. Again, I'm, I'm a little bit confused by how much I love it, knowing that there's no reverb in there. <laughs> but I really, really like that sound. I think it comes pretty close. There's a lot of high end, a lot of high information there. And uh, I think it matches up fairly well. So I'm gonna stick with that. Uh, that being said, if you have any other sort of clean-ish amplifier, most notably Fender amps or clean pedal platform, I'll link a bunch of pedals in the description box as well that are really good at emulating that cranked Marshall kind of a thing. So super low gain overdrives that would work well in that context. But with that said, we've got our guitar, we've got the amp, let's jump onto the final part of our video, which as usual is the most important and is how to play the song. And 
let's start by saying that this song is uh, tuned in E standard, so nothing complicated on this side. It is actually in tune as well, uh, because we're playing chords. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Uh, but if you check out the other uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers episodes, you'll see that there are some surprises in there. But E standard, and uh, we're gonna start by having a look at the fretting side of it. These are mostly very simple chords. Uh, you've got your G, your D, your E, B. And with that very Hendrix-inspired Fruchante twist to it, right? You have all of these hammer-on pull-offs in between the chords, and then you're going into the, the higher register on the, the E minor chord, and then you start fretting your low E with your thumb, and that's it. That's John Fruchante loving Hendrix. It's not a complicated song to learn, it's not a complicated song to play, but as everything Red Hot Chili Peppers, it's quite hard to phrase right, because that's where 90% of his genius lies, is he's gonna take these simple-esque sort of chords, and he's gonna make something that sounds, for some reason, way better than if you were just to play a G, a D, and an E, a B chord, right? Really pay attention to his phrasing, go and listen to the song again and again and again uh, to make sure that your hammer-on pull-offs go sort of in the right place. And that obviously translates into the picking side of it. So let's have a look right now. And I try to make it sort of obvious there. It's, it's a lot harder to do when you're playing it slower, but you are very free in your notions of, of timing and tempo, right? You don't always pick on the one. It's gonna be a little bit more free, a little bit before it, a little bit after it, and you create that sort of whole vibe, really, because, well, there's no hiding with that sound. You know, it's all gonna be in the way you play it because it's a dry, as dry as can go guitar sound into an amp, so there's nowhere to hide and you rely only on that phrasing that you have. So that's definitely where you're gonna to want to put the most work. But with that said, I think that's it guys. You have all the tools you need to hit the tone on wet sand by Red Hot Chili Peppers. As usual, I hope that you enjoyed that video. I hope that maybe you've learned a thing or two today. And if so, please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel so that you don't miss out on the next episodes because they very well could be your song. Just let me know in the comment section which one you'd like me to cover and I'll get to you as soon as I can. In the meantime, I wish you all a fantastic week and I'll see you next Monday in a new episode of Hit The Tone. Mm -hmm.